Have you ever wondered what Viking funerals were like? What rituals were performed and why? Let's delve into the intriguing world of the ancient Norse people. In Viking society, funerals were not merely a means of saying farewell to the departed. They were a bridge between the physical world and the spiritual realm, a gateway to the afterlife. Every step of the funeral process was steeped in ritual and symbolism. The body, carefully prepared and dressed in their best attire, was placed on a funeral pyre or ship. These funeral boats, often beautifully adorned, were believed to transport the deceased on their final journey to the afterlife. In the rich tapestry of Viking lore, one funeral stands out above the rest, the funeral of Balder. Balder was not just any figure, he was a beloved god, the embodiment of light and purity. His funeral was a spectacle that encapsulated the essence of Viking funerals. One of the most iconic Viking funerals is that of Balder, the beloved god of light and purity. In the realm of Norse mythology, Balder's funeral is a tale of love, loss and a journey to the afterlife. Balder, the beloved son of Odin and Frigg, was known for his beauty and kindness. His life was tragically cut short, his death foretold by a prophetic dream. Balder's demise came at the hands of his blind brother, Hoda, who was tricked by the mischievous Loki into throwing a mistletoe dart, the only thing that could harm Balder. The grief of the gods was immeasurable. Balder's body was prepared for his final journey, his limbs washed, his hair combed, and his body dressed in his finest attire. His remains were then placed upon his ship, Ringhorni, the greatest of all ships. This vessel was to serve as his funeral pyre, a fitting farewell for a god. Treasures were laid with Balder, gifts to accompany him to the afterlife. His favorite horse, fully adorned, was led onto the ship, a loyal companion even in death. His sword, shield, and other personal belongings were also placed alongside him. The god's body was then covered with a richly woven cloth, a final mark of respect. A giantess named Hirokin was summoned to launch the ship. With a single push, she set it sailing on the sea, its course set towards the afterlife. The gods then lit the funeral pyre. The flames leapt high, a fiery beacon against the backdrop of the setting sun. As the flames consumed the ship, the gods held a solemn vigil, their hearts heavy with loss. The myths tell us that Baldur's spirit travelled to Hell, the realm of the dead. There he was greeted by the goddess Hell, who ruled this sombre kingdom. Though Baldur's physical journey ended with the burning of his ship, his spiritual journey had just begun. Baldur's journey to the afterlife was a grand spectacle, a testament to the Vikings' deep-seated beliefs and customs. The tale of Baldur's funeral serves as a poignant reminder of the Vikings' intricate rituals and their profound understanding of life, death, and the journey that lies beyond. Baldur's funeral was not just a farewell, but a journey of the soul to the afterlife. This voyage was of profound importance in the Viking worldview. The funeral boat was not merely a physical vessel, but a spiritual conduit, a chariot of the soul, if you will. It was believed to carry the spirit of the departed to Valhalla, the grand hall of the slain, where warriors would feast and fight in eternal glory. This belief in an afterlife was a cornerstone of Viking culture, shaping their approach to life, death, and everything in between. The funeral boat in this context was no less than a bridge between the mortal world and the divine. It was a symbol of transition, of transformation, and a testament to the enduring Viking belief that death was not an end, but a new beginning. Baldur's journey paints a vivid picture of Viking beliefs about death and the afterlife. The Viking funeral, as exemplified by the story of Baldur, is a rich tapestry of rituals, beliefs, and cultural nuances. Journeying back through the ages, we've explored the enigmatic rites of Viking funerals, delving into the tale of Baldur's funeral, a saga that beautifully encapsulates these traditions. These ceremonies were not mere send-offs, but meticulously crafted rituals, each element holding deep significance. The funeral boat, for instance, was not just a vessel, but a symbolic vehicle transporting the deceased to the afterlife, navigating through mythical sea routes. The tale of Baldur's funeral paints a vivid picture of the Vikings' firm belief in life after death. 
This belief shaped their rituals and their attitudes towards death, viewing it not as an end, but as a continuation of the journey, a new chapter in the soul's existence. In the end, the Viking funeral is a testament to a culture's profound respect for the dead and its unwavering belief in the journey of the soul to the afterlife.